always expect the people that are close to you to support what you're doing. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Onisha. If you're new, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. And thanks for my babies that are coming back. Um, today we'll be doing a get ready with me and I'll also be answering a couple questions and speaking my opinions on a lot of things and just catching you guys up on where I've been and what's been going on. So let's get right into it. But today I wanted to go ahead and show you guys some eye patches before I get into the get ready with me. Um, these eye patches are by PUMA eye mask set for puffiness and dark circles and wrinkles. Um, this is what the box looks like. You have a 24K gold eye mask, a holo accent eye mask, excuse me if I'm pronouncing it wrong, and a rose eye mask. Um, I will have on the screen what each eye mask is for. Um, this will be my second time using these. I'll be using the 24K um, Gold today. I used the Hunter out of Exit last night. And they seem to really do me justice. Um, your packs come in different colors in the box. Um, I already have this one open. So this one how the gold look. And you'll just open it and pull it out on a container. And they sit right there like that. And you can just put it underneath your eyes. I'm going to put mine underneath my eyes while I'm talking to you guys and doing the video. You're supposed to leave these eye patches on for 10 to 15 minutes or I think it's 20 to 15 minutes. You leave these eye patches on so I'm going to leave these on from the duration of me doing my hair and yeah y'all so if you feel like these are something that will be good for you and your under eye then I will also have the link down below for you guys to go purchase from them and get you a pair I just always feel like I have bags up under my eyes and I just tend not to like that and so I always try to conceal my under eye real good but hopefully these patches you know do me justice and you do have product on there is product on them so they say when you take the eye patches off go ahead and massage up under your under eye so that's why I'm gonna leave mine on and massage it in with all my other products that I'm that I do for my skincare before I do go ahead and do my makeup. So okay y'all. Let's go ahead and get into this hair. And get started on some of these questions. Um, If you're not following me on Instagram. I put up a post. Early this morning. To. Ask me questions. Um, So I can answer them on today's video. So if you're not following my Instagram, then that's something you need to do. That's where I post like for you guys to ask me questions for like Q and A's or like when I have my girl talk videos. And I also ask um, the YouTube community post as well sometimes. So yeah. That is where you guys could keep up with me. I was about to sit here and forget a product that I needed. But we're going to get into that. I'm going to go ahead and put this product in my hair. Um, I don't know what kind of look I'm going for today. I think I'm just do like some body curls and, you know, make my hair curly. So... Let's go ahead and get into it. I don't know if I'm going to pin them. 
I don't know. I don't know if I want to do all that. Y'all, one of my eye patches is slipping. If y'all can't tell, this little bad boy is slipping. This one's all right. The other one's slipping down. And if y'all see me looking down, my mirror is like right here. And y'all are right here. My mirror is like right down here. So if you see me looking down, that is what I'm looking at to do my hair. So yeah. I'm going to go ahead and get a couple pieces in first. And then we're going to get into these questions. All right, y'all. So question number one. Um, how do you like your new place so far? Um, I actually love our new place. Like I said before, it is peaceful. It's quiet. Um, mornings when I don't have to work, I go out and sit on the patio and just be at peace, have me coffee, um, Stroll through my phone and just, you know, listen to the cars and everything. So I really am at peace with that. I'm glad we picked this place. And this is one of our options. Um I don't have no, I don't hear none of my neighbors. I hope they don't hear me. But I don't hear none of my neighbors like downstairs. You really don't have nobody coming in and out of their house or any of that extra. Like I said before, the only thing I heard one day was our ice machine dropping the ice into the um, ice bucket. That was about it. But besides that, I'm, I'm loving the new place. I'm enjoying it and I can see that we're gonna be here for a while. You know, till we make that next step of wanting to buy or build or whatever route we wanna take, you know. Another question is, what is your end goal on YouTube? Well, my end goal on YouTube is honestly become financially stable. And me saying that not necessarily meaning I'm not financially stable now, but it's like I want to be able to have this amount of money in my savings or this amount of money in my check-in. Or that way, all bills could be on automatic and I don't have to worry about, okay, well, I need to move this much money from my savings to my check-in. Or if I keep having to dip in my savings and to go in my check-in. And, like, let's say I want to be able to, if it's necessary for me to pick up and go on a trip, I don't have to worry about all the expenses or none of that or me just lacking because there's certain stuff I want to do. If you get what I'm saying, like, basically, like, to the point where financially, where I don't have to go into a nine to five. I can sit at home, continue to work here, take care of my child. And also, if, let's just say, I need to go to Atlanta or I need to go to Charlotte and I have this bill coming up or this, but I don't have to rearrange how I have to do stuff to fit in the this trip I want to take or maneuver money around, if you get what I'm saying. And I'm sorry, guys, if y'all see me um, sliding the eye patches up. They're really very, um, what is the word? Like, the product on them. So, that's what I'm saying. But... That's really my end goal. 
to be stable enough to be able to do all that and give my child a lifestyle that I personally wasn't able to have. You know, like, oh, you don't have to worry about buying your first car. Or Mommy could buy you your first car. Or you don't have to worry about making this payment or that payment, if you get what I'm saying. I want to have better for my child. That way I'm able to set him up or if I have another child, that sibling up. If you guys get what I'm saying. I think for any parent that's doing YouTube, that's the automatically end goal anyway. Like, give your child better than what you had growing up. You get what I'm saying? And that's not necessarily for us to say that, oh, our childhood was shitty or we didn't have this, that, and the third. Which we did because my mom, whatever I wanted, she got it for me. But I just want to be set up in a way that my child, you know, doesn't have to worry about certain stuff like, okay, you don't, you're not, I worked while I was in high school. Okay, you don't have to work. You know, you can sit here and play yourself in sports or build you a scholarship off that. Let mommy worry about the bills or when it comes to like, if you want school clothes unnecessarily. Now, if you want to work, then by all means, go ahead. I'm not gonna stop you just showing me that you wanna be independent. You wanna have your own money, which necessarily you will have your own money with me as well. But it's just certain things you're not gonna have to worry about. So, I just want to be there, be able to have that household for him, and all that. Yeah, my hair is honestly looking real healthy. I'm going to have to show you guys the products that I use, and I may do a video. Um, like silk pressing at home, how to do your self a silk press at home. Cause baby, this look like it's about to eat. All right, another thing I want to say, since we're on the whole topic of, you know, YouTube itself. Now, I'm just say this for. Just anybody that wants to be a content creator, do YouTube, or just an influencer, periodly, periodly, um, I'm still, to me, I feel like I'm still a beginner content creator that's trying to put her content out and keep herself out there to build that um, base to where I'm able to get sponsorships or promotions or deal with brands and have um, my number of subscribers go up, my views. I'm still at that place where I'm still, I feel like I'm still working on that. I'm not where I technically want to be at, but for me to start in those four months time and I'm already where I'm at, just let me know that I'm doing a good job. So I just want to keep putting myself out there to, okay, maybe that one day come where it just take off and I'm gonna feel like all my hard work has paid off but for me to for that for me to say that is don't always expect the people that are close to you to support what you're doing and I'm saying that as you have friends you have family don't always expect them to support you wanting to be a content creator or support your being an influencer because during this time of me just doing it for that four months, I've noticed everybody is not going to support you. Everybody's not going to watch your videos. Everybody's not going to tune into your channel. And I feel like for you to not set yourself up for that hurt thinking like, oh, my, my friend not supporting me. Oh, my family not supporting me. Set yourself up to where you realize Everybody is not going to support you on your journey. It don't matter what you is. It don't matter if you got a new job, content creator, you starting a business. Everybody is not going to support you on that journey, especially people that are close to you. Sometimes it be strangers that support you more than their own people that are around you. And that's just a true statement. 
So I kind of feel like if this is something that you want to do, never set, never set yourself up to feel like, oh, well, that's my cousin. She's going to support me or that's my um, co-worker. You know, we go way back. That's my homegirl. We go out to drink. She's going to support my channel. She's going to tune in my videos. And you're going to start to realize and see that when you start doing those videos, doing this, making that content, that everybody who you think and that you felt like was going to support you did it. So you just got to be, be prepared for that. And just learn to accept it. Don't get mad at them. Don't feel like, oh, well, you support this and that and that person, but you're not supporting me. Don't set yourself up for that. Because, I mean, it just comes with the... It comes with the job, to be honest. So, I just wanted to say that. If you're, like I said, if you're a beginner out here, you still at the stage where I'm in, or... If you just haven't made your first video yet and you just been contemplating about it, just go ahead and do it. You never know. I mean, give it a try. If you feel like later down the line, that's not going to work for you, then let it go. But if you feel like it's something that you really want to do and you print yourself out there in your life, then continue to do it. Like I said, the ones that really understand you and that can really relate, they're going to watch you. They're going to tune in. They're going to support your channel. They're going to do all that. But you just have to understand, you're going to have the ones that don't support your channel, don't watch your videos or your content or any of that. But yet, that is still okay. That is still okay. All right. Let's get into another question. Um... What kind of headspace are you in right now? Mm. What kind of headspace am I in right now? To be honest, I feel like um at peace. I feel like I'm at a good headspace. I feel like I'm setting myself up more to go into womanhood. And for those that don't know, I am 24. I'm a Capricorn. My birthday is January the 2nd. And when I say womanhood, I feel like I'm a woman, but I'm growing into my mature state. My wanting peace, no drama. Um, leveling up myself and anything I put effort into. So, honestly, that's what type of mindset I'm on. Is leveling up myself, becoming the best of me. You know, and trying to grow as a person. Because... Like I said, before I started doing YouTube, who would have thought, like honestly, who would have thought I'd be doing this? Who would have thought I'd be wanting to make content, upload videos, and just, hold on y'all. I know y'all like, girl, just go ahead and take them things off. But they're working. So I'm okay. Anyway, it's like, who would have thought that I would be doing this and the reaction I get from some of my videos. Like, sometimes you just never know. Putting yourself out there can get you in a lot of places. So, sometimes we all just have to take a chance. And not listen to those thoughts like, oh, you can't do it or, oh, you're not going to make it. Because it's like, how do we know that? How do we know we're really not going to make it at something we want we want to do? And that we just align with the thoughts of 
negativity to come in and just take it away. I feel like a lot of us stop doing or taking the step to do certain things because we allow our negative thoughts to come in and take over and make that decision for us. And that's sad to say because a lot of us do it and I feel like a lot of us miss out on opportunities just because we do it. So... I feel like that's something as human beings, that's what we have to work on. Stop letting negative thoughts come in and take over. And we just let go of the thought of, oh, I want to be a doctor. I want to be a content creator. Or I want to go out here and work with the NFL of like, um, I don't really necessarily know the names or like, I guess training or like, coaching or stuff like that and we'll just sit there and let the negative thought just come in and take over and we'll be like oh well i just don't want to do that no more i feel like i'm not gonna be able to do it i'm not gonna make it but it's like how do you know can we answer that like how do you know how do you know you're not gonna make it how do you know that this decision is not gonna be the best decision for you to advance and level yourself up in your life. And it's crazy to say. It's like you just never know. It's like celebrities. Sometimes from these people background stories. They wake up as a regular day to day person. Just like me and you. And they want to be a rapper. They want to be an actor. They'll sit there and do videos of their stuff and put their stuff out there. And somebody will come across that video. And that's thing you know in the snap of your finger, you're the next big thing. You're the next old Mac um, ambassador. You're the next Fashion Nova ambassador. You're a wig influencer. You just never know. You honestly just never know. So you should just always keep that in mind. Don't let those negative thoughts get to you. Don't let them tear you down. Just keep pushing forward. And believe in yourself. That's the best route to go with it. When it comes to negative thoughts. So... That is how I feel and what I promote with it. So, yeah, yeah. But I'm going to go ahead and finish straightening my hair. And I'm going to come back to y'all when I'm finishing. All right, y'all. I'm back. Um, Now we're about to get started on doing my makeup. So let's get into that. I already done pin curl up my hair, y'all. They can't see you. Okay. Y'all, yeah. Jayla's in the background if y'all hear me talking to somebody. Hey. She'll come on camera when she get her clothes on. But yeah, I done pin curl up my hair. But yeah, y'all, we about to get into it with the makeup. I need to go ahead and do my skincare because you can't do my makeup without doing your skincare, baby. Yeah, I'm just happy. I remember I should have left now because y'all not gonna want to see me bend down the whole time to do my dang makeup. Y'all not gonna want to see that. I just have to clean this area up tomorrow, which I already know from Sunday reset. Let me go ahead and do my skincare. Cause I didn't start that yet. Oh. Um, but I did go ahead and take them gold eye mask off. I did go ahead and take them off. But 
Yeah, I'm wearing black and green, so I want to kind of do like a neutral, and I want my under eye to be like a hint of green. Ooh, I hope I didn't mess that up. Yeah, there you go. So, that's the look I'm kind of going for. Um, I don't know. We shall see. Just a hot cone ready when you will. Alright. I got the thing smoke on hot. Uh. Well, I'm gonna need to use it anyway for my top. I'm just going ahead and flatten that out. It looked flat, but yeah. I ain't I ain't really gotta tell y'all what I'm putting on my face. It's the same thing that I always put on my face. I'll link them down below. So if you could tell I like the results I'm getting, then pick these up. These the only things I've been using on my face. Except for my, y'all you know I use my Nazima and I use my Kush Scrub. I just restarted in that today. So, let me zoom in for y'all to get into my face. It's extra hydrating. And yeah, let's get into it. I'm going in with my e.l.f. primer now, y'all. I think I'm going to go ahead and do a full beat. I wasn't. But I feel like it's only right with my outfit and my hair. Did I do a full beat? So. We're about to get into it. If you know what I mean. It's only 4.53, y'all, so we're doing good on time. What time it start? Six. Oh. But we still got to get down the road. Yeah. I need to find my um earrings and necklaces so I can put them on. I might have Kiva's doing while I'm doing my makeup. Find them so I could just slide them things on. Yeah, I'm going in with my red corrector to hide my black marks. I'm going to blend it out with a sponge though. Everything else I'm probably going to use a brush. Because I want to look real light. Well, not light, but like. I want y'all to see the pigment in the concealer and stuff tonight. So, yeah, y'all. What? Huh? You took a deep breath. I had to that thing in there. Yeah, I wish I could play music while I'm getting ready, but you two stay trying to copyright me. I mean, literally. Girl, I can't live. I look like I'm about to go to church. Let me see. I gotta put these on. I look like my daddy. <laughs> Not your daddy. Well, he be wearing that pink one. Not your daddy. <laughs> Y'all heard Jay Lanada, daddy. <laughs> she gonna put edits over there, y'all. <laughs> we'll see. We'll put... see. Y'all about to get the real tea. This is where the real tea come out when we getting ready. Go out. How I look? That's how I do my hair stuff. That look nice. You should. Yeah. You look nice. 
nice, man. Thank you. Thank you. I ain't even. Y'all ain't even got the finished product yet, baby. Y'all thought I need to go ahead and do my uh, eyebrows first. Y'all, I did pluck my eyebrows. If you can't tell. Y'all probably can't tell, but when I wear that magic, y'all gonna tell. I can't get this open, y'all. Get it out this box. Y'all seen it? Yeah, I'm going in with this, the brow glue. This is my first time getting it, but... I been seeing people get it instead of using the got to be like I was doing. They use this, so this gonna be my first time trying it. I also have that link down below in the description box. Now, if it had my brows coming out looking fire, then this is gonna be a permanent product. I'm gonna, I'm putting it on there, and then I'm gonna just let them dry. Y'all get what I'm saying? Just let it dry for a little bit. Bro, you can come in here. Oh. Child, she acting a little brand new, ain't she? Hey, y'all, don't mind. I Child, they like... can only see your little part. Okay. I got it zoomed in on my face. Okay, don't mind the edges or the... Where I look like, I look like yeah. Where did I put my eyebrow shit? Yeah. Where did I put my eyebrow stuff? My pomade. Yeah, I thought I brought everything in here. But I um, got this. What is this? R Dead Professional Brow Pomade. I got it in dark brown. Because I said I'm going to try to do my brows in, in a pomade again. I ain't did that in a little minute, y'all. So I'll have this link down below, too. If I can get it out, yeah, it ain't hard to get out. I don't think I'm gonna comb through my brows again. I'm gonna just structure them. That's how they are with the pomade. I'm really not trying to get too much of a product. I'm feeling the outcome. What? You feeling the outcome? I'm feeling the outcome. Like, they really. Yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling this outcome. Bro, you can't tell me. Oh, yeah, it's eating. What you yeah, like, that, um, that gel stuff, and then I got this pomade. Yeah, y'all cannot tell me. This is gonna be the new guru for my um eyebrows. And then I'm going as light as I can, but it won't make my eyebrows dark. They'll still look like you know they're natural. Y'all, now I'm going to go in with some concealer. The same color the concealer that I put in under my under eye. This is what I'm going to go in with. Y'all cannot tell me my eyebrows is not eating. Shit. They eating. Huh? I said they eating. Like these shits. This gonna be the new guru, y'all. Cause 
the new guru to the makeup, y'all. I'm also looking at I'm looking at my big mirror behind this little mirror and I'm also looking in my little mirror at the same time as well y'all so if y'all see me going down here and going back there that's what I'm doing I don't want y'all to be like I ain't even sure not in focus but I'm trying to make sure how it look back there too so yeah y'all really feeling that eyebrow thing. Ooh, and y'all, my camera going dead. Ooh. I'm gonna come back to y'all to show y'all my outfit because I really don't have time to charge y'all.